Good morning. What's going on? How are my friends doing? Good morning. How y'all doing? You know who it is. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. 8.03 to be exact. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a long night, but I made it. But I made it. But I made it, ladies and gentlemen. I made it. The California kid, he's here. He's here. My advice to you is come on in, pick your favorite seat, because we getting ready to get started. Ladies and gentlemen, it is going to be on this morning. So I hope you're ready, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning to all of my good people. Good morning, good people. <laughs> good morning, good morning, good morning. I see you, Rick. I see you, Sally. I see you, Steph. I see you, Roderick. Good morning, good morning, guys. We're going to go ahead and get started in just a couple seconds here, a couple minutes here. Hey, hey, how y'all feeling out there? Hey, Susan. Good morning, good morning. <laughs> What's up, big bro? I see ya. Good morning, guys. Good morning. You know, it's 8 o'clock. I'm up early. Up early. Up early. <laughs> I know some of you say early. That's not early. Ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and send out your last minute tweets, texts. Whatever you're gonna send out, send it out. Let them know. We getting ready to we getting ready to get started on how to close up front, ladies and gentlemen. I, I got to tell you, these last uh, couple of days, you know, we did uh, we did closing. We also did um, closing part two, and uh, this morning we're gonna do we're gonna do uh, how to close up front. I tell you, these have been some valuable topics, uh, definitely. A lot of responses from people in terms of uh, the value that, they, that they've gotten, that they've received from um, from uh, from these actually these, these few trainings that we've done. So uh, welcome, 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 guys. We're going to go ahead and get started exactly in 60 seconds. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. I want to make sure before we begin that uh, you guys can hear me loud and clear. Isa, good morning, good morning, good morning. Kurt, what's up, baby? Good morning. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we about to do another one just like we did the other one. Uh-oh. Can you guys hear me? Somebody says they can't hear anything. Can you still hear me, guys? Give me a thumbs up. Can you hear me? All right. Good morning, John. Good morning. All right. You can hear me. Okay. Fantastic. All right, Sally. I see you. I hear you. I see you, girl. You over there at work, huh? All right, guys, let's go ahead and dance. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get let's go ahead and get down to it. All right. This morning, guys, we're going to go ahead and. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. What we're going to actually talk about this morning, guys, is how to close up front. Uh, for the last couple of days, we've been talking about closing. And I thought we've done a fantastic job of being able to be very accurate, be very precise, be very helpful. Um, so if you haven't had a chance, definitely you want to watch the last two videos if closing is something that you struggle with. 
how to close, how to wrap up, how to finalize the interaction. Okay. Uh, we've had a great couple sessions about that. So I want to encourage you if you have missed anything to go back and, as they say, go back and watch the tape. You can watch it on Facebook or you can watch it on YouTube. Uh, I know that um, sometimes I, I guess I'm not supposed to play so much music because YouTube will, it doesn't like that, but I understand. So I apologize, YouTube. <laughs> but uh, listen, go back and watch the tape if you've missed, uh, if you've missed what, we, uh, what we've been talking about. All right, moving ahead, talking about closing up front. I want to first of all go ahead and say, this topic, guys, is certainly for professionals only. Closing up front is something only professionals will dare use. It's only for professionals. And the reason I say that, the reason, the reason, the reason I say that, guys, is because as a professional, what, what, what we like to do is we like to be sure that before we take the shot, and when I say take the shot, I'm I'm referring to before we begin to share the information or do a presentation for someone, we want to know up front that if they like what they hear, if they feel what, what, if they like what they hear, and if it feels good to them, uh, are they ready to move forward? So as a professional, we want to have the assurance that before we spend the time sharing the presentation with them, that if they like what they hear, if they like how they feel, they are ready to move forward. Let me say that again. As a professional, Closing up front is something that we prefer. We want to know that before we do the presentation, if the prospect likes what they're about to hear, if they like what they feel, are they ready to move forward? Is there anything that would stop them from moving forward right now? And once the prospect says, well, if I like it, And, you know, if I like how I feel, sure, I'm ready to move forward. Fantastic, says the prospect, I mean, says the professional. Fantastic. Now we will go ahead and take the shot. Now we will go ahead and take the shot. So at closing up front, what that means is that means at the very beginning, before we go and waste any time, we're going to make sure that the prospect is ready to move forward if they enjoy what they're about to hear. You may be thinking, well, how do you do that? It's very simple. Uh, Hey, Mr. Prospect, listen, before we begin, I have a question for you. Uh, obviously I'm getting ready to share with you. I'm getting ready to share with you exactly what's going on. And, you know, uh, I'm getting ready to share with you what it is. I'm getting ready to share with you, uh, where we're about to go with this particular project or concept. And I'm getting ready to share with you what's in it for you. So I'm getting ready to share with you my vision. Okay. My question to you is this, before I share it with you, if you like what you hear, If you like how you feel, if you could see yourself in the picture, would there be anything that would stop you today from moving forward? And oftentimes a prospect will say, well, uh, if I like it, if I'm feeling it, uh, well, you know, I may need to talk to my wife or talk to my husband. Okay. Okay. And then at that time, I will say, great. Well, before we get started today, 
do you think it might make a little bit more sense that I share this information with you and your husband at the same time or you and your wife at the same time? That way I can be in front of both of you guys at one time and I don't have to force you to repeat it back to him or her. So would you rather me go ahead and just share it with both of y'all at the same time? And sometimes the prospect will say, you know what? That's a great idea. And I will say, fantastic, no problem. You see, what closing up front is all about is trying to waste as least amount of time as possible. What closing up front is all about is trying to waste as least amount of time as possible. All right. Give me a thumbs up if I'm making sense so far. All right. All right. Fantastic. You guys are getting it. Okay. All right. So. All right. So. Again, I'm going to just give you a couple of more examples, guys, on how to close up front. As a professional, uh, this is something that I prefer to do all the time because I want to make sure before I begin to waste my time, I want to know that the time that I'm about to sh spend with them is well worth it. So I simply ask them one more time. If you like what you hear today, if you like how you feel today, is there anything that would stop you from moving forward? Sometimes a prospect will say, well, I need to talk to my husband or my wife. Sometimes the prospect may say, well, I need to come up with the money. Sometimes the prospect may say, uh, well, uh, you know, I need to pray about it or something like that. And if they say, you know, well, you know, I may need to, you know, come up with them. See, let me share with you where this concept of closing up front was born from. As an amateur, once upon a time, I would do presentations and at the end, guess what they would say? Well, I need to come up with the money. I need to talk to my wife. I need to, it would be some type of an excuse or some type of, you know, they needed to do something else. So here's what we're going to do, says the professional. We're going to find out up front that if you like what you hear, if you like how you feel, that you're ready to dance right now. So we're going to find out up front, up front, ladies and gentlemen, that you know, it, you know, if for some reason, you know, you got a money problem going on or a money issue, we're going to find out up front. Like sometimes a prospect may say, well, listen, sometimes I've told people up front, hey, listen, uh, I'm going to share with you the vision of what's going on. And I'm going to tell you right now that uh, uh, once you like what you hear, uh, once you're feeling it, I'm letting you know up front, it's going to be $1,300. It's going to be $1,200, you know. To get yourself uh, to get yourself started, that's what it's going to cost you. Okay, I want to let you know that up front. But before we begin, I want to make sure that if you like what you hear and you like what you feel, uh, you know, you're prepared to move forward today if you like it. That that means thirteen hundred dollars is not an issue for you, right? Uh, that means you don't have to talk to a husband or a spouse or get anybody's approval, right? Okay. And I just want to make sure that, you know, the coast is clear before I get started. You see, give me a thumbs up if you understand what we're saying. You just want to make sure that everything is A-OK -okay before you take the shot. Does that make sense, guys? All right. All right. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right. So closing up front is extremely effective. It just allows you to, to not waste any time. 
That's all it does. It allows you to not waste any time. Okay? So, very, very simple concept this morning. Uh, closing up front uh, does not take, you know, an hour to, 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 to share with you or to teach you how to do it. It's literally just a habit that as a professional, uh, you want to do it as often as possible. So that way you make sure you're just not wasting any time with people. Okay? So, listen, guys. Uh... Did any of you guys have any questions about how to close up front? I'm going to give you a few minutes here to see if anybody has any questions. Any questions from anybody? Good morning, Mom. <laughs> All right. So it looks like we got a good class this morning. No questions. Fantastic. Well, listen, guys. Uh, Make sure you use this tool. I promise you, you'll be glad that you did. Closing up front just allows you to make sure that there's not going to be any objections, uh, you know, or any resistance uh, if they like what they hear and they like how they feel about it. That's all it does, you know. Um. All right, what's up, Vincent? Pleasure to meet you, my friend. Uh, Vincent says, does any of, uh, do people ever feel pressured? Not at all, because you, you closed up front. Yeah. Um, not at all, not at all, not at all, not at all. So let me give you an example. Hey, listen, Vincent, um, I'm getting ready to share with you, uh, I'm getting ready to share with you the details. I'm getting ready to share with you, you know, what this project is, uh, where we're about to go with it, and uh, what's in it for you. Listen, before we get started, uh, Vincent, I just want to find out uh, that if you like everything that you hear right now, if you like the way that you feel about what you're about to hear, uh, is there anything that would stop you from, from taking the next step? Is there anything? Like, for example, do you need to talk to your wife or your girlfriend? Uh, you know, is uh, you need to is there anything that would stop you? Uh, you know, if you like what you hear and he'll say. Uh, no, 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 there's nothing that'll stop me. Great. So what that means is it's safe to go ahead and take the shot. It's safe to go ahead and take the shot. Does that make sense to you, Vincent? All right, give me a thumbs up if you understand that, Vincent. All right, next question says, so have you ever experienced that a person says they ate already and there are no obstacles to listening and starting and then don't, and then, and then, and then, I guess you meant to say they don't join. They don't join slash don't like what they heard about the presentation. Have you ever experienced that a person says they are, oh, they are ready and there's no obstacles? Uh, yes, that's happened. I think she's trying to say, have I ever had a situation where a person says, yeah, they like what they heard. There's nothing stopping them from getting started, but they don't get started. Uh, yeah, I've heard that before. Uh, has that happened before? I'm sure it is. I'm sure it has. But nevertheless, I still make it a practice to always close up front. 
you know, because uh, again, as a professional, remember the most important thing to me is not wasting time. That's the most important thing. So um, I respect the prospect. I know that they want to hear about what it is and they want to see the details. You know, I, I respect them, but at the same time, I'm a professional. And so once they, um, once they like what they've heard, once they, um, they, they like how they feel about it, it's, it's, you know, it's, you know, let's take the next step. It's time to move forward. So we begin to fill out the paperwork, you know, immediately or put them in the system right there on the spot, you know? Uh, so again, this is just, you know, uh, look, this is not missionary work. You are professional guys. You are a professional. And as a professional, you need to act like one and you need to literally be pay- be paid like one. And, um, Hey, Elena, how you doing, sweetie? You know, so uh, I can just tell you that uh, this is how the pros do it. It's how we do it. All right. Any other question, guys? Any other questions? All right. So Peter says, so basically it's okay to bring up the cost at the front end of the presentation. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, absolutely. I mean, listen, I'm an, I'm an upfront type of guy, you know, as I'm sharing the vision with them, I let them know, Hey, listen, if you like what you hear, if you like how you feel, I'll tell you right up front, it's going to be 1300 bucks or 1200 bucks. It's going to be $1,200. And I just want to make sure, you know, that before I share everything with you, that uh, that that's not going to be an issue for you to come up with twelve hundred bucks. You know, in other words, you know, I I don't want to, you know, get all the way down the road. You love everything. You're feeling it. You know, you want to do it. But then now it's it's an issue of, well, man, I got to find the money. Well, I'd rather know that up front before we go ahead and spend, you know, before we march on down the yellow brick road, you know. So that's kind of, that's, that's what I do. Uh, I believe in that a hundred percent, hundred percent in the grand scheme of things, guys, what's $1,300 or what's $1,200 or what's $500 or whatever it costs to join your opportunity. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, and I mean, when you talk about, when you look at the big picture, you know, nah, you know, a few hundred bucks is not gonna, that, that's not the end of the world, you know? So, all right. And for those of you that think that a few hundred dollars or twelve hundred dollars is is just the end of the world and, you know, everybody doesn't have that. Listen, look, guys. I got a couple different cars here. You know, oftentimes you guys always see me in this car, the Maserati. By the way, I love Maseratis. This is my fifth one. I love them. I, I just love the way they sound. I love the way they look. I love the way they, they, they drive. I, I just like them. I, you know, Romacio. So if you understand, like, my, 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 my name is kind of inside the word Maserati. Like, M-A-S, Mas, which is what most people call me. Well, when you spell Maserati, it's M A. S. Anyway, that's a different, different, different school of thought. But my point is, is that um, <laughs> I, I I love I love these cars, and so here's my point: if you don't have any money, and I said, hey, listen, here's the key. Here's the key to a brand new Maserati. Okay, it's got 530 horsepower. It uh, it's a four door, uh, 530 horses. It goes from zero to sixty really fast. It's Italian made. It sounds really, really sexy. Uh, I tell you what, I'll give it to you for thir- I'll give it to you for twelve hundred dollars, and you've got twenty four hours to come up with twelve hundred dollars. Do you think that very same broke person could come up with twelve hundred dollars? Absolutely, without a doubt. If I said, "Here's the key, right here, deal of the century, twelve hundred dollars for the car, twenty four hours," you got the money? I promise you. They'll find the money. Now, here's the sad part. They'll find the money 
for a depreciating item called a Maserati. Even though it's a nice car, it still depreciates in value. Meanwhile, if you find $1,200 to join this business, you could buy a Maserati if you, you know, if you explode the business, you could buy a Maserati every six months. You see what I'm saying? So I don't make the money issue a big deal. See, it's all about value. It's all about value. Always remember, price is what they pay. Value is what they get. Price is what they pay. Value is what they get. Price will always be an issue in the absence of value. You see? Price will always be an issue in the absence of value. See, people don't have a problem spending the money when the value is there. They have to see the value. And that's why I told you yesterday the power of questions. You want to keep the prospect engaged throughout the actual presentation so that they can see the bargain that they are getting. That's the reason why you want to make sure that you are keeping the prospect engaged through asking questions throughout the presentation so that the value is crystal clear in their mind. Oh man, absolutely, absolutely, I can find $1,200 for this. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, without question, no problemo, sir. That's exactly how you want the prospect to feel. Now, does that make sense to everybody? Give me a thumbs up if you're still on the line. Don't hang up, baby. Are you still on, you still on the line? <laughs> Awesome, awesome. As they say in Texas, awesome, awesome. (laughs) Good. All right. Any other questions? Any other questions, guys? Any other questions? All right. Well, this morning, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. We talked about how to close up front. Very, very simple topic. Very, very simple, uh, simple, simple uh, thing to cover here. I just really hope that you take the time to spend uh, listening to the, the other, the last two videos that we did, you know, how to close. If you can learn the power of questions and you learn how to effectively use questions i promise you the moment that i learned that years ago i never stopped doing it because it was the comfortable way to have a conversation with the prospect it was the comfortable way to be able to you know to to paint a vision and 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 when i say it was the comfortable way what that means is it allowed the prospect to stay engaged okay All right, so let's go to the next question here. What if they say they still want to see the presentation, but give an obstacle, do you take it away and not show them? Absolutely. So his question is, what if they say they still want to see the presentation, but they give an obstacle? So if I ask him up front that, hey, listen, before we get started here, if you like how you feel, uh, you know, if, if you can, um, if you like how you feel and you like what you're about to hear, is there anything that would stop you from getting forward? I mean, is there anything, is there anything that would stop you from taking the next step and moving forward? Uh, and if they say, well, well, yeah, I don't have the money or yeah, you know, I may need to, you know, I, need to come, I may need to come up with the money or I may need to talk to somebody. Well, I'll tell you what, well, let's stop right now. Let's stop right now because we already know no matter how good this is, you're still going to have to talk to your spouse. You're still going to have to come up with the money. 
So let's just stop right now. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about your spouse. Why don't I just wait to share this with both of you guys at the same time? That way we can save everybody, uh, save everybody some time. Because I don't want you to have to re-explain this to your spouse. Because a lot of times when you go to re-explain this to your spouse, your spouse is going to hear, well, this is, this, your spouse is going to hear, womp, 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 womp. I need $1,200, womp, 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 womp. That's all they're going to hear. And so versus, you know, having you to go ahead and relay that message, why don't I be the one to actually do that for us? Don't you think that makes more sense? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, as far as the money, the money conversation. Well, listen, if you guys just don't have the money right now, well, let's talk about how to actually come up with the money, uh, you know, let's talk about how to kind of come up with the money. And I'll say, listen, so if I were to give you the brand new key, give you the keys to a brand new Maserati, uh, could you find the money in less than 24 hours? Fantastic. Awesome. What's up, Manish? How you doing, brother? What's up, Manish? Manish, make sure you message me after this uh, after this call here. I've been, been needing to catch up with you, bro. All right. All right, guys, any more questions? What's up, D? What up, Daniel? Text me on my cell phone afterwards, Daniel. All right. Any other questions, guys? All right, guys, listen, we'll go out there and have an outstanding day today. Remember, uh, make the best use of your time. Remember, make the best use of your time. And to do so, always close up front. Closing up front is one of the most effective tools that you can use to be able to not waste any time. So with that, guys, listen, I love all of you guys. Uh, listen, I wish you nothing but abundant success. If you're confused on closing, if you're still not certain about it, go back and watch the tape. These last two days that we've spent have been absolutely uh, fantastic, where we've actually shared with you how to close. I've, given, I've broken it down for you, very simple. And to this morning, we talked about how to close up front. So all the value is jam-packed in these last two, three videos, go back and watch them. Again, you can watch them on Facebook. You can watch them on YouTube. So with that, guys, I just want to see you at the top, baby. That's where you belong. All right. So listen, always remember in all that you do, there's nobody in the world any greater than you. All right, guys, it's the California kid sitting right here. Uh, 837 in the morning, October 13th. Right here, California IA. I love y'all. I'll see you real soon. Goodbye, everybody. All right, man, it's time to ride. It's time to do what we do. I hear the gym calling my name. I hear the gym calling my name. Gotta go get them. Yes, sir. I'll see you on the moon, baby.